Back yeah. here at home, a city under siege from crime. Victims in Northwest who thought they got into just a simple fender bender ended up being carjacked at gunpoint. Fox Fox Shamari Stone has the story. Good evening. It's absolutely terrible what happened to this couple. They're warning people to remain extra vigilant and be careful this Thanksgiving week. Elise, her boyfriend Harry, and sister were in a white BMW at a red light at Fox Hall Road in White Haven Park. Yo, do you know where Fox Hall is, um, Olsen? Um, nah. Is that in Southeast? It sounds familiar. Fox Hall is, I would say, neighboring to Georgetown. So Fox Hall is probably the highest um, median income neighborhood in Washington, D.C. Oh, so that's the, it's, it's, yeah. it's like literally. It's out the like, way. If I showed you where I lived, you would think I was hiding. Yeah, it's out the way. I know what you're talking. I used to do Lyft, so I used to go. Yeah, I used to end up there sometimes. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, I'm not familiar with, yeah. it, but yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. If they're hunting out there now, if yo, if they're hunting in Foxhall, man, listen, man, this is right here. They gonna have to do something about this because those people in Foxhall got. If word get back to the hood. That is sweet. These people got nice shit out there. Like, for, let me just show you Fox Hall before I show you that video, man. You have charm and glamour, Fox Hall. Fun fact: Fox Hall is named after a 19th century cannon manufacturer who had also been the mayor of Georgetown. Fox Hall is centered around Fox Hall Village, which is a Tudor-style development of 300 homes, which were built in the 1920s by developer Boston Phelps to replicate an English village. And interestingly enough, it's sited on the old 60 acre estate of Mr. Foxhall. Depending upon who you ask, Foxhall is just the area around Foxhall Village, or it's a much larger area that overlaps the Berkeley neighborhood, parts of the Palisades, as well as the Foxhall Crescents and Phelps Park enclaves. The glamorous Foxhall Road also gives the neighborhood its name. It runs from the Potomac River up the hill on its way to the fabulous neighborhood, Wesley Heights, and it's lined by impeccable homes along the way. Fox Hall is primarily residential with great access into downtown Washington. It's also home to the German Embassy, the German Ambassador's Residence, as well as the Krieger Museum. Thank you for joining us today for episode 16 of On Site with Matt Cheney. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, this is what the houses look like out there. You hear me? Damn, 31. God. Yeah, 31 million. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is this is Foxhall. So it's like, yo, if there if this is a hunting, because I've never did a story where I or I've never heard anybody ever going out there and doing anything. This is the first time. Yeah, I, I didn't know where that was until I was doing lift. Like I had never, there's no reason for any sun man to be exactly. over. Exactly. There's no reason to be over. There's, there's not, nothing over there's no, there. There's no yeah. building you need to go to. No, nope. no. DMV. No social services. No, no, services. no stores. No, no, no liquor stores. Yeah. It's all residential. It's nothing. There's no it's reason. Not a gas station. They could go to the Man, gas station. No, gas no I don't station. think it's a gas station. Gas station. Gas right. station yeah. <laughs> gas station. They don't have a gas station. No. DC don't, just in general, DC doesn't have a lot of gas stations. Yeah, yeah. Except, except for east of the that, river, east of the river, yeah, probably exactly, got exactly. Most where of the them. people are, where the people are. Yeah, yeah. Over there, yeah. Like, yeah. This is this is this is. There's no reason. Like, as a son, man, you could live in D.C. You could be 80 years old, 
from southeast or or north you greater northeast and never have been you could be from uptown and never yeah. have been over here i'm talking yeah, about exactly. never touch that a foot your foot never touched in this neighborhood or never even drove by it no no i bet yeah. nobody know what bus even go over there the 32, all the buses that go yeah, to Georgetown, 30, yeah. but they don't go through here. They go. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, I like IA's idea. Yeah. Um, salute to um, IA says, what if it was just like Pirates of the Caribbean? If you use the resources of Africa, you get cursed with sons. For a thousand years, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, man. Um, no, this how this, yeah. So anyway, let's 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 see what um, what these what's happening in Foxhole now. District back here at home, a city under siege from crime. Victims in Northwest who thought they got into just a simple fender bender ended up being carjacked at gunpoint. Fox Five Shamari Stone has the story. Good evening. It's absolutely terrible what happened to this couple. They're warning people to remain extra vigilant and be careful this Thanksgiving week. Elise, her boyfriend Harry, and sister were in a white BMW at a red light at Fox Hall Road in White Haven Parkway around 1130 Saturday night. Suddenly, a gray Lexus with temporary Virginia tags bumps them. Elise's boyfriend gets out of the white BMW to check the damage, to try and exchange insurance information. He looks and he doesn't see a lot of damage, right? Suddenly, that's when four people get out of the gray Lexus with guns pointed at Elise's boyfriend. Then they go right to the car. Keep in mind, you have Elise and her sister inside the car. They point guns at them, demand that they get out. They don't put up a fight. Then two suspects get inside the white BMW. Two suspects then walk right back to the gray Lexus, and then they all take off. Now you're going to hear from Elise and her boyfriend about what happened. We want to warn They them. just look rich, don't they? <laughs> they look like marks. Yeah. They look they like look trust like, fund babies. Exactly. It looks like he's on the crew team and she's like a debutante or some shit. Like as a kid nah, and now she's, she's not that cute. She could yeah. get there though. Yeah, man. Like um, if she cleans up nice, she probably yeah. She cute enough, man. Yeah, yeah. She cute enough. She cute enough, man. Um, yeah. Her boyfriend about what happened. We want to warn all our friends, um, everyone we know that this could happen. Um, unfortunately, it happened to us, and we're trying to stay as calm as we can, deal with the shock, the numbness of the events. And Elise, what was going through your mind when you have these guns pointed right at you? These niggers. Honestly, it took me a moment to realize what was going on because they came so quickly. Um, and I think I was in complete shock at the time. I'm just glad they're okay. Now, police were able to find Elise's SUV, and you're probably asking yourself how. Well, let me show you. She actually hid an Apple AirTag inside of the SUV, oh, similar shit. to this one right here. It helped investigators find it. As for this armed carjacking, if you have any information, call D.C. police. De detectives are looking to see if this is also connected to two other carjackings that happened this past Saturday night. If you have any information, call. Yo, these, if, I hope it's just happened to be that they were in Foxhall. I hope that they not hunting in Foxhall because, yo, that's like the there's important point. dignitaries yeah. and like ambassadors living. There. Yeah, it's it's the final frontier. Yeah, it really is. And that's where all the real estate that you just showed was, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's those that's those are the most expensive and homes by far. So they're creeping into there. Like are you telling me that they're not casing that property that we just saw? I don't know. If it's, if not it's casing is not that's not our yeah, unless yeah, we know they, somebody in there, we, we don't gotta like work there somehow. Yeah, yeah. stumble yeah. upon it. 
yeah, you gotta like have a, a dinner party and somebody bring their son plus one. And like, oh, uh, shit. you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you do gotta discriminate then, is what you're saying. You'll be like, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Make sure you did. Yeah, you just have wonder, charm and wonder glamour if those have guns. They probably have guns. Nah, in DC, those gliders are, are anti gun. Those are these are you gotta understand yeah. everybody in Foxhole is woke. Like there's no conservatives in Foxhole. They, they, these people are just like these one people, or two. <laughs> yeah, but these people are like literally when I, I drove through here because my, my 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 daughter was born at Sibley. So I drove to Sibley every day because my, my wife and just my daughter's in the NICU, my wife is in the hospital, all this stuff was going on. So I, I drove from my house and you know what I'm saying uh, uptown to Sibley every day for a long time. Um so I've drove right through this area, and you see all you see is Biden. Um, flag Biden. Um, what do you call it? The little in the, in the yard. Host the little. I know. What you're yeah, talking yeah. About. And Black Lives Black Matter, Matter stuff. Matter. Yeah. yeah, you won't see any. You will never see a Trump like anything like around it. You know, I know also, what you mean. I, I definitely I know that kind of neighborhood. They're yeah, very, uh, the, they like their little yard signs. Yeah, and the, the people here are like. Like these are woke, woke people. These people are completely against guns. That's probably still wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? These people, are like these people, are nuts, man. Yeah, this is Seattle's that. full of people like that. They're probably gonna hold a diversity meeting over how they could be more accepting of this, more uh, inclusive. Not, yeah, no, nah, they're not gonna do that. They're, 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 st- they're, they're, they're the type of 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 gliders that are they're the racist I'm the separate not racist. but equal ones yeah exactly i'm not <laughs> racist but i but you're right you're racist but i'm not racist types you know so they they, they they're the finger pointing types so those those ones will never let's uh <laughs> they'll just accuse uh, uh, nimby i believe the term yeah exactly they're just because they'll just point their finger at conservatives all day Right. All the names. Or they'll blame um, the economy. Yeah. Because it's not enough jobs or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. These these people are um wow. That's crazy though. Like I'm floored by that. That just that just shocked me, man. Um because when you drive through there, you never see anybody walking like yeah. you don't see anybody on the streets. Let alone see a black person. You don't see white people. You don't see anyone pedestrian. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like crazy. Wow. Um, 